So I know that there are a lot of students who just hate algebra word problems and writing their own algebraic equations and solutions. So in the last video, I solved this with algebra, which I think personally is the easiest way. If you can really just break through that little kind of um, fear of algebra and see how useful it is, I do think it's the easier the other way. However, for those of us who just feel like, oh, I can never grasp algebra. I just don't get it. I don't understand it. I've got an alternate method for you. Okay, so one thing you can do is these kind of problems are frequently multiple choice problems. And so what you can do is do what I call a guess and check. You can actually just start guessing at one of these multiple choice problems and then trying it to see if it fits the parameters outlined in this question. Let's take a look here. So I see this on the math test. Mike scored eight more points than Tom. Betty scored 10 less than Tom. Altogether, they earned 241 points. What was Mike's score on the exam? Okay, so take a look at these answers. Since my question was, what was Mike's score on the exam? These are my four possibilities for Mike's score. Either it was an 81, a 71, an 89, or an 85. Those are the only options because those are the only numbers they gave me. Okay, now from there, let's figure out Tom's score. I see this relationship up here between Mike's score and Tom's score. It says Mike scored eight more than Tom. Mike scored eight more than Tom. Well, if Mike's score was 81, then Tom's, if Mike's is eight more, then Tom's would have to be eight less. I could subtract eight from that. So 81, let's see, 80, 79, 78. 76, 75, 74, 73, 70, uh, yeah, 73, sorry. I'm counting on my fingers and I just screwed up. Isn't that fun? Good thing you couldn't see my fingers going. Okay, so um, 8 less than 81 would be 73. So in this instance, if this was Mike's score, then Tom's score would be 73. Uh, same thing here. If Mike's score was 71, then Tom's score would be 8 less than that. So Tom's score would be, let's see, 63. Oh, poor Tom is not doing well. Whereas if Mike's score was 89, Tom's score would be an 81. If Mike's score was an 85, Tom's score would be 8 less than that. Let's see, uh, 77. Okay. So what am I doing here? I'm trying to establish what all the scores would be depending on these answers here. You could do just one row at a time. I'm just being kind of lazy. So now let's look at Betty's score. So I see this phrase. Betty scored 10 less than Tom. 10 less than Tom. So Betty scored 10 less than Tom. So if Tom was a 60, uh, a 73, then Betty would be a 63. If Tom was a 63, then Betty would be a 53. Uh, if Tom was an 81, Betty would be a 71. And if Tom was a 77, Betty would be a 67. Okay. Now, so I have all these possibilities. Either these were the three people's scores in A, or these were in B, or these in C, or these in D. Now let's look at the last question. It says, all together they earned 241 points. All together they earned 241 points. So we need to see which one of these lines would actually total, because all together means total, to 241. Let's do this one first. If I were to add 81 plus 73 plus 63, and you can feel free to do this in calculator, but let's see what I would get. 3, 6, 7, and 13, 21. I'd get 217. Can't be that one. It didn't come all together to 241. It's probably got to be something higher than that. Can I just skip right over this one? Because this one's going to give me something lower. All the scores are lower. I need something higher. So I'm going to skip next to this one, 89. So let's see. Let's add 89, 81, and 71. Let's see. Uh, 9, 10, 11. 11, carry a 1. And if you need to add this, guys, do it in a calculator or in side work. I'm just doing it in my head. So 24. Okay, so what I just got when I added these three scores I got this time was they did come to 241. I needed something that would come to 241. This did. So the answer must be C. And there's how you can kind of cheat and solve a algebraic word problem that's multiple choice without doing the actual algebra.